today's local and national news from Thailand via the fabulous Patia Media Group. And if you'd be kind enough to like and subscribe, here's a tip for you to get the very latest news from us every day. When you subscribe, click on the button that says All. And then every day you'll get an update straight from us. First an apology as our FM output was once again damaged by power spikes in the supply during storms at the weekend which resulted in poor output and a drop in BBC news feeds. All, it appears, was restored to 100% by 11 o'clock yesterday morning. In Myanmar, the Burmese government has promised Thailand's deputy police chief Hak Pan that all 164 Thais currently detained there and held in an area where battles continue will be returned to Thailand post-haste. He'd flown to a meeting in Yangon to meet counterparts and to confirm that those held had been duped with promises of legitimate work only to be taken to call centres. Due to the location where they're currently being held, logistically and for other reasons of safety, they'll be transported via the nearby Chinese border. Thailand's Labour Ministry has confirmed an increase in the minimum wage across Thailand will go into effect on or before New Year, but that the promised 400 baht a day minimum will not be the figure. The ministers expected to announce maybe an increase of 20 to 30 baht a day, which would raise all rates regardless of region, as here the daily rate varies by province, with Chonburi along with Rayong and Phuket the highest paying. Thai emergency logistics teams report that an estimated 20,000 nationals remain in Israel of their own accord, and do not want to return home despite the conflict there. Gainfully employed, mainly located in much safer areas and away from the Strip, a continued service exists for all to contact the embassy. However, calls have essentially dried up. 7,470 have been successfully repatriated in an operation involving the Royal Thai Air Force that's been hailed as an example of speedy and efficient extraction by other nations. Meanwhile at home, in Chonburi, Pattaya's province came out worst in a list of regions seeing heavy smog pollution recently. Readings triple the acceptable safe level were registered, 154, which put us at the top of a less than popular smog chart. Whilst rains may help to clear the clouds across Thailand, it's recommended that anyone with breathing issues consult a professional. A Thai man who fired on a couple in the Nong Pru area at the weekend remains, we're told, at large still, despite an APB issued to all police. As we reported yesterday morning, he'd gone to the couple's home after a row and shot both. Now we can confirm that he shot them as they scammed he and his wife out of their life savings, promising huge returns on an investment to do with oil. Worse... They considered the couple to be friends and they were so convincingly sold that they borrowed money from other friends and even moneylenders to boost their investment. The 60-year-old man was at his wit's end, as loan sharks had been pressing him for repayments. The injured pair deny any involvement financially. And Patia's Sports Club has seen a much-needed revamp to its member service and a brand-new website that clearly reveals that the club, long established here, offers far more than just golf handicap updates, but also an array of savings for members, with a huge discount on even medical insurance. Membership is still low, around 500 baht a year, and joining's easy. You don't have to be a sports person either. And for details, visit the new website, find out more, patiasports.org. And the Met Office is promising another muggy day, humid and with the chance of a storm or two, highs of 32 dropping to 25. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.